Y'all already know when y'all see me, I'm about to make y'all think. Have you ever wondered why racism exists? I'm about to explain why it's about to get deep. So in Genesis, it says, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that it may rule over all the creatures. Now I want you to ask yourself, why isn't this God the same image of mankind? This means there is another creator, the real God, the one. The God of the Bible is the God of the underworld, who is Neptune, a magical freshwater dragon. Y'all may also know as Yahweh, Adam, or Amon. Then it goes on to say, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them in. Male and female, he created them. These are the original humans, made in the image of a dragon and an image of man. All creations come out with positive and negative energies, besides the angels, because they was manifested. So they feel like they own all humans because technically they created them. The original humans are the aliens, along with the fallen angels of man. So they place leans on our bodies. But the issue is we all have the spirit of God inside of us because of the fallen angel DNA. This is why the war started, because they had no right to experiment on us because we were not in their image. In the beginning of Genesis, it describes our fall into the abyss, which is a black hole that's located in the middle of the real earth. And going to describe how they recreated heaven on this matrix earth in order to trick the fallen angels of man to think that they were still in heaven, which ultimately led them to mate with the human women and creating stronger gods. Now to make this extremely clear, the quote unquote black man in America is actually the fallen angels of man. And the original humans is the quote unquote black men and women around the whole world. So the original humans has a higher standing than their own creators because of the fallen angel DNA, which made them gods. It's the reason why they have to tell us what they're doing before they do it in order for them to have silent consent. And obviously they did not expect this to happen. So they started killing us off. How do y'all think we became a minority when we are the originals? Every war you ever heard of is them killing us off. When you hear Jew, they mean Jew Wells of Earth. When you hear Jewish, this means they just have a piece of the Jewels in their bloodline. So why they was offing us? They mix their seven reptile races along with the Elohim, creating seven subspecies of humans on the seven continents in order to control and brainwash them to help getting rid of the original humans to avoid their karmic debt. So racism isn't random at all. It was designed to be a literal act against God. As y'all can see, Baal is the first king of hell. He speaks in a racist but well-formed voice. Just think about that. And he commands 66 legions. The 66 books by Baal is meant to re-legion you away from God, meaning separating you from the fallen angels and the original humans that would appear as quote-unquote black people. Can't forget, the word black actually means dead. They call us that because we are not in heaven. I mean, look how people refer to fallen angels as if they are demons. But yet, the only fallen angels that were actually deceived is crucified in life in every aspect. And they never know the reason why, and this is it. Meanwhile, everyone is praising the Elohim, who are fallen angels of different races from heaven that helped the reptilians put us in this position. All because man is the image of the creator, the real God, and the original humans are stronger than the reptilians and the Elohim. This is why they needed multiple races to pull this off and as y'all can see they still lost at the end because man has the power of all elements and the original humans has the power of one or more of the elements because of the mixed genetics so in exodus knows the six races they speak of these are the subspecies of humans they created to get rid of us it literally says they are sending them to another land to destroy and not to worship anyone on that land, which will be the fallen angels and the original humans, because we are gods of higher standing than him. This is why he becomes a jealous God. It also mentions not to make treaties, which is agreement. So instead, they came here making contracts. That's why we have Congress to progressively take steps back so we cannot evolve. It also says do not mix with them because these are two totally different bloodlines. One is the fallen angel of man, along with the original humans of high frequency. The second is a subspecies of humans that is low frequency. This is how they are able to control them. So I say all that to say this. Racism exists because they don't want us to wake up and realize we are the gods. Not just here, but all of existence. Without us, nothing will exist, literally. So that is why they use us to create their own realities. And obviously, when we wake up, 
all their realities they created is now gone because we have full control over reality. But anyways, y'all know how to keep it. Y'all be gods. Hey.